All right, guys, we are here. We made it to week four, the very end of the Cut Down to KetoCon Challenge. I am so excited to tell you about all my results, but first, I'm even more excited to check in with my friends Joe and Rachel over at Two Crazy Ketos. Hey, what's up, Autumn? What's up? It's week four. I can't believe it, but we are finally here. We made it to week four. I know, right? I'm so excited. I love these questions for the end of the challenge. They were actually submitted by subscribers over on Joe and Rachel's channels, and they were really good and introspective, and I cannot wait to hear your answers. To check out my answers to these same questions, head over to Joe and Rachel's channel at 2 Crazy Ketos. I'm gonna put the link right here, and you can see my thoughts on moving forward after the challenge. Okay, these questions were so good and like lengthy that I actually have to read them. So, the first question is, did you all have any unexpected triggers or temptations on your cut that threatened your success? If so, what were they and how did you move past them? Great question. So I think for me, the biggest temptation that I had through the entire you know, challenge was really in week number two when Caleb graduated and we went to an all you can eat restaurant to celebrate. Yeah. And normally I would go to that like sushi place that we went to and I would pretty much just stick with the hibachi but I would load up on broccoli and stuff like that. But in not trying to exceed 15 total carbs, it was pretty much meat and meat only with just like a handful of broccoli. So that was definitely a temptation, especially when everybody else was sitting around, even people who are normally doing keto going, I'll go off a little bit mm -hmm. and I wasn't able to. To top it off, I couldn't have my soda, so I actually snuck a, a Zevia in with me. Super classy. Like that was that was a classy moment for us. We're like sneaking soda into a restaurant. But for me, I am an emotional eater. At least I have been in the past. And so a trigger for me is definitely like any type of change in emotion. So this has been a very emotional time period for us. So there were some unexpected stressful moments throughout this cut down that uh, normally I may have wanted to snack, not not bad snack, not like regress and, and start eating a bag of donuts or anything, but I would have definitely normally exceeded my calories, exceeded my carbs in some way. But because of this cut down to KetoCon, because I had a goal in mind, I was able to say to myself, okay, not right now, you can't do this, you've got to just stay on task, and so that's how I got past the moment, was having a goal that had very clear boundaries. That's exactly what I did, and that's what I talked about over on Two Crazy Kiddos channel, is what keeps you in track is just knowing that you have a specific goal in mind. It's not the big goal of, oh, I have 40 pounds to lose over the next eight months. It's knowing that, hey, all I've got to do is do this for four weeks, okay? I can get through anything for four weeks, and if I need to, you know, have a snack or two after that, I've earned it. But it's really just keeping those short-term goals in mind for a specific purpose, and it really helps you to maintain your discipline. Question number two. All of us seem to be goal-oriented people. You right, hashtag I got goals. Now that the challenge is ending, have you thought of a new goal for yourself moving forward? so that you don't lose momentum in your discipline? Definitely my goal moving forward is to get exercising more and more. I am looking forward to starting to incorporate, I, I almost wanna plug your ears because I know you're gonna hold me accountable to this. Um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to incorporating some weightlifting into oh, yeah. my exercise routine because- We can go to the gym. Right? Do it. Do it! It changes your life and it changes your body. Hi, I'm gonna do it again. Hi, oh, look at that. That wasn't there before. Do it. Well, at least we can get some free weights here at the house. Maybe, let's start there. So, um, yeah, I've enjoyed exercising. I've always hated exercising. So, this cut down got me, started moving, and I wanna just keep on with that momentum. What about you? So for me, I don't know if I've got new goals right now other than pretty much staying right where I'm at. And I think what I'm gonna do is start incorporating more often. You know, when I first started keto and throughout the last two and a half years, once a month, once every six weeks, I would do like a 36 to 48 hour fast. And I haven't done one in a while. And I think I wanna start making that a goal of at least once like every six weeks doing at least a 36, no more than 48 hour fast. Because I've had no problem doing 24 hour fast through this entire thing. 
but I think we need to stretch it just a little bit more and make that a regular, like a goal to just continue that on. Cause I always feel good when I can go 24 to 36 hours without eating. Oh my God, that is a great goal. I am not about that fasting life. I am about that intermittent fasting life. About the longest I've gone is about 16 to 18 hours. I know at that point I should just push forward to 24. Like maybe I'll incorporate that. Like sometime in July now I'm nervous just thinking about it but that is a great goal and that is something that I do want to practice getting better at fasting is the pinnacle of discipline if you ask me question number three what are you most looking forward to reintroducing into your diet now that the challenge is over I know what yours is what do you think it is it's ice cream it's actually not ice cream really yeah well actually that I mean ice cream is awesome but it didn't come to my mind wow Talk about proving that you can get into a new routine normally dessert would have been my first thought and yeah we have had what four Fridays with no dessert right but um, my first thought was a big old honk and plate of vegetables because it's been a while since we had like a really respectable salad. I'm definitely looking forward to reintroducing some vegetables. Not so much for bulk, just I like the taste of vegetables. Yeah. I miss eating a big salad. I miss like roasting some Brussels sprouts or some broccoli. I mean, Aww. the amount that we've had, like the other day we had a steak and literally we had like two sprigs of broccoli each. I mean, it was it one pathetic. cup of broccoli split between the two of Pitiful. us. But in addition to that, I really am looking forward to reintroducing some desserts and, and having some ice cream. I totally agree. Like bring on the broccoli and the butter and the cauliflower and the ice cream. Hello. Uh, I'm still sticking to 20 total carbs. So it's not like I'm going to be chugging quest bars every day or anything like that. But yes, having the option to have some sweet treats whenever I want, but you're right. The vegetables are good for both bulk and taste and like yes being able to bring those back into my diet i am definitely looking forward to okay guys final question after having done this challenge would you consider a more extended cut for yourself in the future for example 90 days with less drastic incremental reductions abso smurfly i would be up for it i think that there's been a lot of benefits to doing this and if you know you're really selling me on the less drastic right like if it's less drastic um, and over a longer period of time, I think that I could really enjoy that. I mean, we're gonna pump the brakes, pause it for a minute and, and enjoy when we get back from KetoCon, just some like normal eating. But um, yeah, I could see that happening in the future. What about you? I would definitely consider doing probably like a 60 day cut, but I would have to change things up because for me, I would like wanna start incorporating maybe going to the gym or something like that and maybe doing just like 25 calories a week reduction for like, you know, I don't know, like six weeks and then bringing it back up a little bit. But for me, I think I would be interested in doing like a longer cut, not so much to lose any more weight or anything like that, but to really speed up my metabolism. And yeah. that's one of the benefits of doing cuts like this. When you get into the reverse dieting for me, Again, not to lose weight, but to be able to drop it a little bit and then raise it up and then drop it a little bit and then raise it up so that I can end up in the future eating more than I am eating now and not gain weight. I love it. Okay, Autumn, so the challenge is over. We are gonna keep going until Wednesday, mm -hmm. even though we've officially ended the challenge. Yeah. We don't want to screw anything. We could easily screw everything oh. up over the next three days. You don't even know how bad I can behave <laughs> in three days time. Like it's terrible. So we will see you in KetoCon. I can't wait. Bye. Bye. We made it. I'm done. I'm so excited. You're right. I'm actually going to be eating like this until Wednesday as well. So I leave for Austin on Wednesday, a full two days before KetoCon starts. Uh, me and Chella, AKA Footy Turn Sleevey, AKA my BFF, are actually getting to Austin early just to kind of hang out and chill and get ready for everyone else to arrive. I am pretty much eating like this up until Wednesday as well. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to meet you guys. I cannot wait. See you in Austin. Okay guys, well that is it. The challenge is done for me. I will tell you, over the last four weeks, I have lost 13 pounds and 11 inches. Like, I'm so proud of myself, but I will tell you this. Um, the, the weight loss was a little soured by the fact that even though I lost 13 pounds, I'm still like 20 pounds up from my lowest weight. So it's 
a little bittersweet because yes, I have lost weight and I'm going in the right direction, but I also still have so much further to go and it's just like, Ugh, I've already been there before and I, I can't really celebrate a milestone because it's not even the lowest weight. You know, and I think that's how we celebrate our milestones is the lowest weight we've ever been. But like, I really am proud of myself for what I've done so far and I look forward to getting back on track right after KetoCon. July is my birthday month. Woo woo. So I have some off plan meals already built in there for my birthday and a couple of other meals with friends. So July is not about staying strict keto like the entire month. I do know that I'm going off plan uh, for a day or two here or there. The rest of the time I'm sticking directly on plan. Uh, and then August, I really wanna start implementing a new cut. I don't really know anything about that yet. I might make a video for that and make that a new cut challenge as well. So I will keep you in the loop. Okay guys, I am done. We're headed to Austin. I am so proud of myself and I wanna hear all about your results on the Cut Down to KetoCon challenge. Did you participate? What did you cut? What did you restrict? Did you lose any weight? Did you gain any muscle? How do you feel about yourself? I'm so happy that you were able to finish the challenge and I cannot wait to see you at KetoCon.